Hi, Chris Farinetta here from Nearstar Fusion, and I'm just going to go over some of the main components of the uh, HJ1 plasma gun that our team has developed for uh, the plasma liner experiment at Los Alamos National Laboratory. So let's uh, let's start at the back here, and uh, you see there are our basically four uh, high voltage switches and these switches are used to uh, trigger a energy pulse of about seven and a half kilojoules. Some of the, two of the switches are removed, you can just see the, the brackets. And so these are our uh, special spark gap switches which uh, basically use a, uh, a, a spark of electricity to bridge, to close the switch, to release about seven and a half kilojoules, uh, so seven and a half kilojoule energy pulse from the um, capacitor bank, which is inside this silver box on the gun. You can see over here uh, the uh, where the gun, uh, the plasma gun, attaches to the vacuum tank. That's where the inner and outer electrode of the uh, plasma gun is located. And then there are three red clips that are on a uh, electromagnetic field coil. And so what happens is um, basically hydrogen gas is, is valved into the plasma gun. Then the uh, capacitor bank uh, releases about seven and a half kilojoules of energy, which hits the hydrogen gas you know, in the uh, inner electrode and turns it into a plasma, uh, hydrogen plasma, which travels at has it travels at a velocity, a hypervelocity, of over a hundred kilometers per second. That's so that's over sixty three uh, miles per second. Okay, and it, it basically the plasma then travels into the, the vacuum tank here, and it's a, it's a magnetized blob of plasma. The field coil, again, where those red clips are, uh, that uh, it basically magnetizes the, the plasma. And so now we're going to go over and look at the inner and outer electrodes.